Imagine a bath sponge. Bath sponge has a lot of little holes and that's why when you wipe the water, all the water goes there. And when you squeeze it, all the water comes out. So the question is, how can we make sponges like this but for gases that they don't like to stick to things like the water sticks to a sponge? What do we do? We make those sponges with a tremendous amount of surface area. What does that mean? In a gram, we have materials in one gram, a, and a gram would be half, if you take a sugar package, that's about half of that, that's one gram. And it would have almost the surface area of a soccer field. Imagine now if you take that gram and you unfold it, uh, which we cannot unfold it, but if you can, with that one gram, you could really spread and cover a whole football field or a soccer field in that small amount. And that's what gives us the ability to store gases. The separation, you have to worry about three things. One, yeah, you need decent amount of surfaces, but also you need, you know, you have, let's say, you think of a room. The room has the inside, but it has the door. Let's say you buy a piece of furniture and the piece of furniture is larger than the door. It's not gonna get in. So it doesn't matter how big is your living room, that piece of furniture is not getting room. So tailoring that window or that door to let things in but not other things is very crucial. The second thing, how can we make those walls stickier to certain molecules but not others? And that's the differentiation between is it a surface area play or is a chemistry play as in the separation? The holy grail, at least, a lot, at least for me, is hydrogen storage and in that using hydrogen storage for vehicles because you can't get any cleaner than that, that the pie product is really water. The question becomes how can you store hydrogen? Uh, somebody else have to worry about how do you generate hydrogen cleanly and hopefully uh, you could generate that by using water splitting in solar world. Uh, but at the same time, we have to worry how to store it. How can we store hydrogen because it doesn't like to stick to many things. Uh, enough of it inside a cylinder to be able to give us, uh, you know, we are in the US, we are a little bit, we like our driving distances. Every time we talk about a vehicle, we say, can you get 200, 250 miles driving distances. So how can we store enough hydrogen in that tank at much lower pressure to give us that driving distance? I think we are not there yet. Are we making strides toward that? Yes. Uh, do I believe that those materials we work on from our group or from other groups in this field will get there one day? I am, a, I am totally a believer. Is it going to be tomorrow? Not. Is it in the next few years? I believe so. One thing, you know, it's really awesome to see that now uh, Metal Organic Frameworks is being invited to be a part of PITCON. Uh, that means this is the next generation materials for separation, for chromatography. Uh, and that's really neat. Uh, 